Okay, I'm going to show you how to line up your axolotl's fins. So what I do is on the same row as the eye, the bottom of the eye, about three stitches, three and a half, um, maybe four, it depends. I'm going, I mean, you'll have to figure that out for yourself, but for this one, three, about three and a half worked, and that's where I'm going to attach the bottom fin. So I'm going to use these uh, leftover um, tails from when I fastened off. And I'm just going to make sure that it's lined up so that the bottom is sewn um, down so that the rest of the fin can stand up. Okay, so that that lines up pretty good. I want it to, again, make sure that it's lined up with the bottom of the eye, about three and a half stitches away from the eye. Okay, now I'm doing the same on the other side. Again, there's that bottom eye, about three and a half, maybe four stitches. Um, the reason why I'm giving you a little bit of an approximation there is because of just where you put your eyes on. Uh, it might change a little bit. It doesn't really matter. For you, you want to make sure that they're the same distance. So sometimes three and a half feels like too much. You might do three, you might do four. You just want to double check and make sure that the eyes and the the distance between the eyes and the fins are the same on both sides. You want your axolotl to look even. So uh, while I gave you approximations, it's helpful for you to just see how I do it maybe. And then as you're sewing them on, uh, feel free to adjust because it's not an exact science. Okay, so here, finishing that up and double checking. Okay, and here I feel like it actually is a little too far, so this is what I'm going to do because it's so close, is I'm actually gonna go up bring my needle out about a stitch in the in front of it and I'm going to go through the very bottom front pieces and I'm just going to kind of pull it tight and now that's pulled it a little bit closer and it's making it look a little bit more um even with the other one uh sometimes it's just a few little stitches like that that make the difference Now as you continue, you're just going to stack those fins on top. You've done the first spacing, so it'll be easier, but you still want to make sure they're about the same distance away. You want to make sure that they're even with the lower fins that you're sewing on. And then, of course, that they're secure. And just double check as you go, but just remember that you've already done the hard part and you just want to make sure they're even with that first fin that you took the time to make sure it was good to go. Once you're happy with all of your fins, you tie, I did a double knot, it only showed you part of it, but then I'm going to just weave it through and snip the very end. So those ends are in the head um, but also with a knot and that will be secure.